Happy Friday, Streaks. My name is Asher Rebelo, and we made it to December. And my name is Matthew Bishop. On today's episode, we captured the buzz about this year's musical. We rang some candy just in time for some holiday sweets. Uh, and our resident NBA experts analyze the opening season matchups. Let's go, Streaks. Seniors, it is time to order your cap and gown for graduation. Johnson's will be here on Wednesday, December 6th to help for ordering. After winter break, the price goes up, so save some cash now. The musical is in full swing, heading into the month of December. When the musical was announced at Cats, Noah, Brody, and Jack were on the scene to catch the good feel lines around the perfect musical for the season's cast. Meow. Last month, the Fine Arts Department announced this year's musical, Cats. We checked in with Miss Corston to explain the role of dance has in this year's musical. The dancing um, in Cats is like most of the show. Um, it is a sung through musical, which means that there's not a lot of stopping and dialogue in the show, um, but it also that means then that there's music all of the time. Shay Gibson and Mr. Gibson explain the uniqueness and inspiration behind this year's musical. We talked it over with the director's team and we just thought maybe it was the best fit where we are right now. Like it involves a lot of people, a lot of individual songs and solos. We just want to be the first ones in the valley or in the state to even offer cats. I'm looking forward to um, making some more friends and um, hopefully expanding maybe my theatrical talent. Even though I know there's Lots of hate about it, but I'm really looking forward to Cats. Every Monday leading up to November, there will be after-school workshops, and auditions will be held on November 1st and 2nd. It has been Jack, Noah, and Brody signing off. The cast list might be set, but wow, we, we, sure, we sure were excited when it was announced as Cats. Good luck to the cast and crew as they hit the musical prep at full speed. Reminder that the Good Food School Market returns today at dismissal. Everyone is welcome to grab a bag and fill it with whatever your heart desires this weekend. Oh yeah, I need, I need to remember to grab some good eats for the weekend. Speaking of good eats, with the holidays coming up, we all like a sweet treat. So me and some colleagues sat down and rated candies on a scale from 1 to 10 to see which of those candies were preferred. This is behind the scenes of HHS Broadcasting, guessing three candies they have never... It smells like... Alright, go give it a taste. How does it taste? Very fruity. I feel like they wrapped it in something. A good flavor. Like very fruity. Have you ever tried this? Never. Next one. You ready? Go ahead, smell it. Off the back, I already know it's a Twizzler twin. First off, it smells like strawberries a little bit. You think you ever had this? Yeah, I definitely had it. Would you eat it again? Nah, these are <laughs> Strawberries. Taste it now. What does it taste like? I've definitely had this. A Twizzler, but more sour and less sweet. Probably a like 6.5 out of 10. What would you rate it? Zero. It tastes like butt. Yo, can I spit this out, bro? See me. It was good. Honestly, my honest opinion. What would you rate it? Nine out of 10. Personally, you can never go wrong with Starburst. The pinks and reds, of course. Oh yes, although those spicy mints are interesting on the palates. Okay, on to sports. The NBA season is underway and our resident NBA experts sat down in the studio to drive into what the season is looking like. Here are Naeem and Nisan with their early season NBA analysis. Hey, what's up y'all? It's your boy Nisan. Hey bro, you already know who you are with, bro. You here with your boy Naeem. You know how we get down. Hey, today we finna get out of run down on the NBA. Hey, yo, Nisan. You heard about John Moran, uh 25 games special? Man, they finna struggle this year, bro, for real. Man, I don't even. Man, I don't even understand that for real, bro. Hey, let's go ask some people about it. Like, oh. My opinion on the drummer situation is uh, I think that what he's doing is very wrong. And, I mean, you're making million dollars when you're flexing guns for what? You're not a thug and just, just stick to your lifestyle. Um, I think in the first 25 games uh, without John Morant, I feel like they're actually going to do much better. They have, uh, I mean, they lost Dylan Brooks, obviously, who's a great defender. But, I mean, you got guys taking more shots who are better shooters and facilitators than John Moran. John Moran is very overrated. They got Derrick Rose, too. What if you Hey, man, appreciate y'all, boys. Y'all know ball. Man, there have been a lot of crazy trades now, bro. You heard about Damien the Bucks, bro? Yeah, him bro, and, it's crazy. Him and Giannis, bro, finna go crazy. Hey, man, let's go ask some people about it. Let go. Yeah. 
Jaden Robinson. I'm a junior. And my favorite trade was the 76ers and the Clippers trade. Um, we got to pick up James Harden and PJ Tucker. And we gave off like a lottery pick. And like, I think two people from our roster, I don't remember what it was. Uh, another one I enjoyed was obviously seeing Giannis and Dame team up. They have the best game a couple nights ago, but they throw in the season, they're going to be different. But that's it for me. Man, those were some crazy trades, though. Real talk, man. Hey, I'm excited to see the rookies this year, though. Yeah, not going to lie, bro. Victor Wimby, bro. 7-4 and moving like that, bro. He's crazy. Tough, bro. Hey, I'm rocking with Chet, though. We finna ask y'all who y'all favorite rookie is. Let go. Let go. My favorite rookie is Asar Thompson because he's a lockdown defender. I think Asar Thompson going to win rookie of the year because the stats he putting up as a first-timer in the NBA. Hey, bro, the rookies are real excited this year. Man, they are tough, but who you got winning the NBA Finals, though? Man, I want to say the Thunder, but we all know the Nuggets finna run it back. Not going to lie, bro. I think I got the buzz this year, bro. Man, you tweaking. Let's Man, see let everybody else. Right, Let's go. Uh, I think the Milwaukee Bucks is going to win the NBA Finals because they have Giannis and Damian Lillard. Uh, I hope the Boston Celtics win the NBA Finals because I think they're the best team and they deserve it the most. Hey, this NBA season finna be fire. Thanks for everybody who gave y'all opinion. I'm not signed. I'm Naeem. Hey, we gonna be back with another banger. Let's go. For the full version of Naeem and Nissan's NBA early season analysis, check out our YouTube channel. And honestly, my money is on LeBron, the GOAT. Yeah, he is a great player. In fact, I might go play some pick up basketball this weekend. Um, keep working on it, Asher. Thanks for watching Blue Streaks. Be safe this weekend. Make sure, make good decisions and be kind to each other. Shout out to our producers, Ava. She keeps everything running smoothly back there in the back. We appreciate you. See ya.